Okay, so in this video, I'm just going to show you another example of rationalizing the denominator of a third fraction. So we can see this fraction here has two thirds on the bottom, and basically we, wa we want to rewrite the fraction where we don't have thirds on the bottom of the fraction. So to do that, we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate is just the denominator, but we change the sign of the second one. So we multiply by root 2 minus root 5. And we do that on top and on bottom. So we multiply above and below by root 2 minus root 5. So what do we get when we do that? On the top, I'm just going to write it as 3 times root 2 minus root 5. We can multiply that out in a minute if we need to. On the bottom then, it's two, uh, root 2 by root 2 is 2. It's root 2 by minus root 5. That's minus root 10. Root 5 by root 2 is plus root 10. And root 5 by minus root 5 is minus 5. And what you should notice is that anything with a square root sign on the bottom cancels out. So we have minus root 10 plus root 10 is zero, so they're gone. So on the denominator, on the bottom, we now have two minus five, which is minus three. And on the top, we have three times root two minus root five, like that. And then we can simplify a bit further. We can divide above and below by three. So if we divide, um, or divide by minus three, rather, to do it in one go, divide the bottom by minus three, you get one, divide the top by minus three, you get minus one. So it's minus one times root two minus root five. So then we can just multiply out the brackets to get minus root two plus root five. So that's the answer there. If we rewrite three over root two plus root five as a, uh, uh, as a fraction where we rationalize the denominator, the answer is minus root 2 plus root 5.